Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again. Right, um, someone kind of recommended this, you know, this is going to be uh, my thoughts on the, uh, oops, I just banged the table, Blech. this is going to be like uh, my thoughts on the uh, Jack and Daxter trilogy, you know, because uh, I kind of did one for Shenmue, and I've kind of said some shitty things about the Jack series during my LPs, you know, like I said, someone recommended it, so I'll just, yeah, I'll just clear, clear things up, right? So, the Jack and Daxter trilogy, right? I have been with that trilogy since, you know, the beginning. Well, not really. I remember I, uh... I, I got it after I got, like, the first Ratchet and Clank, because I remember so many people were comparing it, Ratchet and Clank, to Jack and Daxter, and I loved Ratchet and Clank, you know? So I was like, hmm, I wonder what everybody's saying about this series. So I got the first one, and I thought it was fucking brilliant, really, you know? Take the, another Mario clone, you know? like, going about collecting stuff, which was all the rage back when it came out, you know, but it's just, it's, it's just got Naughty Dog charm to it, you know, it's like, all these forest areas, like, spinning, I don't know, it was just really funny, it was just a really good platformer, right, I really liked it, um, and back when I LP'd it, I knew, uh, I could have done a good job of it, of it, because I knew the game so, so well, I could have done 100%, which, you know, is what, what I did, I got all the power cells, but yeah, in a long ways, that game, kind of, it's, it's not really right to compare it to the last, to the 2 and 3, you know, as I'm sure most of you know, but it still holds a special place, you know, a sort of, like, what's the word, a sort of charm that's not really been matched yet, even by the Uncharted games made by Naughty Dog, you know. Jack 2. Uh, I remember going into that LP all excited. I hadn't played it in a good few years, you know. But by the end of the LP, I was actually kind of disappointed. Like, it hadn't hold, held up like uh, I remembered, you know. But the more I think about it, the more I look, as, look at the series as a whole, I still think that that one is my favourite. I mean, usually when a series takes a whole dark and edgy route, you know, it tends to, like decrease in quality really, really badly, you know? But Jack didn't really do that, you know? It, like, I it went all dark and gritty. They gave Jack, like, a big manly voice and all that, and they added guns, and the storyline was a lot darker. But it still... It still kind of had the charm, you know? The charm of... I don't know, I can't... I really can't fit it into words, you know? Let me just say, I'll always remember the first time I went in, like, the Haven Forest, the music queued, and it looked really, really beautiful, going to the pumping station, and just, like, that epic, uh, suspense, you know, when you go up to the palace, the, uh, tower section, everything was really epic, I don't know, those moments just stand out to me on, in that game, and for that reason, it, I kind of like, it's my favourite. I just think I didn't like LPing it, because it was really hard, and I just died so much, you know, and I just screamed in that, but apparently that was what most of you liked, so I guess it worked out pretty well. But yeah, Jack 2, it probably... That one probably is my favourite. It really is. I don't know why. It just, it just got a lot of things right, you know. As for Jack 3, uh, I suppose it does. I suppose it still is my least favourite. I know a lot of people regard it as the best, but I don't know. You can sort of, like tell it was a bit rushed, because it was made in one year, mind you, and for what for what they did in a year, it was great, you know, I loved the whole wasteland thing, and unlike Nuts and Bolts, I actually commented this on my LP, but Nuts and Bolts, you know, taking a vehicle approach, I think Jack 3 actually did it really, really well, introducing this whole landscape to explore, you know, um, but again, most things about the plot didn't make sense, some of the missions were a bit iffy, and the I don't know, the story did wrap things up really well, but overall it probably is my least favourite. Yeah. But this trilogy overall, you know, it's it's still one of my favourites, you know, I just, I grew up with it. Well, I use the term grew up, but I was at my age, you know, I was like 13, 14, whatever, and I just played, th those were like the games I would always play, you know. And so, in a way, they'll never be replaced, really. I have always preferred Ratchet, for those who are wondering. I do prefer Ratchet to Jack, but I still love Jack, you know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I, I guess if any of you want to know this thing, there you go. And as for Lost Frontier, I said in the description of my last video, I'm not... Don't bug me about Lost Frontier, and a couple of you little 
fricks are like, oh, do Lost Frontier, go on, do Lost Frontier. I don't want to do Lost Frontier, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just don't want to do it, alright? It's, it'll be brand new, and I don't even know if I'm going to get it, because I probably will get it on the PS2, just to see what it's like, but it's not made by Naughty Dog. It's got 30% of this friggin' flight thing, and I don't know. I just, in a way, I think Jack and Daxter's dead now, you know? I mean... I suppose I'll throw this in for those of you who are wondering. Daxter on the PSP, that was a fantastic game. And if I can somehow cook up my PSP to capture card, I think I think you need a PSP 3000 slash 2000, you know, for uh, to do that. Because I've got like a standard first edition PSP and you can't really do that. Uh, I don't think you can hook that up to your TV. But if I could, I would totally LP it. I sw that is a promise. If I could find a way, I would totally do it. But yeah, Daxter was great. Jack X, I just didn't like for the sole purpose that it was a racing game. Yes, I am biased. Whatever. But, yeah, you know, like I said, it's kind of dead to me. The only way for it to be revived is for Naughty Dog to make a game, a platformer, and for it to kick ass, you know. So yeah, that was like a total ramble there, wasn't it? But yeah, that's it. That's just, just throwing this information out there for anyone who was at all curious, because, like I, like I said at the beginning, someone said it, and it kind of, I thought it was just for anyone who cared, yeah, okay, I'm going on too much now, so I'll just end it here, uh, I'm glad, hope you all enjoyed me LPing the, uh, Jack Trilogy, and I honestly do hope that Naughty Dog make an R-Jack game in the future, right, see you after, guys, uh, bye-bye.